In the previous lecture, we created a Pareto chart, but we created it from a data set that was already prepared for us. Of course, we had to still create calculations to calculate the cumulative uh, number of defects and also percent cumulative. However, what if you have your data as a raw data set with lots of data? How would you prepare a Pareto chart based on such data? Let me click on the 2011 car crash data. This is a data set that I used in one of my courses, the Pivot Tables Data Analysis course. And uh, this is raw data that's showing car crashes in the United States in the year of 2011. So in order to get useful information from a data set like this, which is a sizable data set, we need to benefit from a really cool set of tools in Excel, the pivot tables. So we're going to prepare a Pareto chart, but before we prepare the Pareto chart, we need to manipulate this data by using the different pivot tables data analysis techniques. So it is really simple. I click on the data set, go to insert, and on the left hand side, there's pivot table. I click on that. And uh, if my data set is nice and prepared uh, and uh, ready for pivot tables data analysis, I simply click OK. And uh, all I need to do now is, is think what I would like to present in my Pareto chart. For example, I have information about states. How about I take the state field? And of course, it automatically added to the row labels area. Now what I will do, I will take that same field and drag it into the values area. And what we get, we get a report count of number of accidents by state. My first step, well, my next step with this data is to sort it from high to low. So I'm going to right click on the uh, data column and go to sort largest to smallest. You know, for the Pareto chart, we need to sort it from largest to smallest. Now, this is count of state. How about the cumulative percent? Well, it's even easier when you use pivot tables for this kind of stuff. All I need to do is take that state field one more time and drag it into the values area one more time. And now I change how the second occurrence of the state field is presented. Instead of simply count and showing values, I'm going to right click on that column, go to show values as, and the option I am interested in is percent running total in. And that will give me the cumulative percent, percent running total in. And of course, it's running total base field is state because um, we only have one field here. Click OK. And now I got my cumulative percent. If I scroll all the way down, it goes all the way to 100%. And that's what I need for my Pareto chart. Now, since this is a pivot table object, I simply use a pivot chart for that. Analyze tab, pivot chart, click and go straight to combo. And now everything is almost ready for me. Count of state is a clustered column and the second count of state is line. I'm going to add the secondary axis and my Pareto chart is almost ready. I'm going to click OK. I can close the uh, pivot chart fields, but I need to modify the secondary axis double click on the secondary axis and change the maximum into one instead of 1.2. Press tab. Notice how the chart was recalculated and my highest percent in the secondary y axis is 100%. That's what I need. Now I can close format axis, resize my chart here. And if needed, I can change the design of it and do all that other good stuff. 
but we have a Pareto chart that we created from a raw data that was not summarized for us. Very easy. I will see you in the next video.